Hi everyone! Hi! I'm Grace. And I'm Ruth. And you're so welcome back to Camp Aurora Water. Let's begin with a prayer. You can repeat after me. In the name of the Father, Father and, and of, of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us and forgiving us. And forgiving us. Help us to always love. Help us to always love and to always forgive. And to always forgive. Just like you. Just like you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and, and of the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Okay, so I've got my notebook. Mm -hmm. Got my yellow card. Got my red card. Got my whistle. Grace, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm refing for a soccer match later. It's my job to make sure everyone sticks to the rules. Oh, so how, how does that work? Oh, I'll show you. Red card! <whistles> Yellow card! <whistles> Foul! You're off! Wow, well, I don't think anyone will mess with you. No. You know, I think some people see God kind of like that. What do you mean? Like they see him as an angry referee who's just waiting for them to make a mistake and then there to punish them. Gosh, they really don't understand God, do they? If only they knew how much he loves us and how much he wants to forgive us. And how much he wants us to forgive each other, even when it's really hard, like when we've already forgiven them once and they do the same thing again and we have to forgive them over and over. Oh, actually, that reminds me of a story. You know, the unforgiving servant. <gasps> oh yeah, let's tell it to everyone at home. Let's do it. Let's. Dive in! One day, Jesus' friend Peter came to Jesus and asked him a question. Jesus, if someone hurts me and says sorry, how many times should I forgive them? Is seven enough? Peter thought seven was a huge number. Can you show me seven fingers? Good job. But Jesus said, not seven times, but 70 times, seven times. And when he said that, Peter was really surprised. Can you show me 70 times seven fingers? That's harder, isn't it? And that's a lot of times to forgive someone. It is. And then Jesus told him this story. Once there was a servant who owed the king loads of money. In fact, he owed him billions of euro. Whenever the king let him borrow more money, he was really happy. So when the king called him in one day and told him he had to pay it all back, he was so sad. And he said, I can't pay you back. I'm so sorry. I've used up the money on all sorts of fun things. Well, the king got really angry. He said, Then you and your wife and your children are going to be sold as slaves until you can pay back every penny. When the servant heard that, he was shocked and really afraid. He dropped to his knees and pleaded. Oh, please, 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 please. Give me more time. I'll pay it back. I promise. Well, the king thought about it. He felt very sorry for him. So he smiled and said, Hey, it's okay. And he called off the servant, the servant's debt and let him go free. Just like that. Can you imagine how good the servant felt then? Wow, I can't believe the king was so generous. The servant must have felt so good and so grateful. Off he went and found a man who owed him 10,000 euro. That's still a lot of money, but not near as much as billions of euro. And he got really angry with the poor servant. And instead of saying, hey, it's okay. Like the king said to him, he said, Pay up now! I want my 10,000 euro back right now! And he started shaking the man. The poor man was so afraid. He dropped to his knees and said, Oh please, 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 please! Give me more time! I'll pay it all back, I promise! Does that sound familiar? That's just what the servant said to the king. Exactly. And what did the king do for him? He cancelled the debt and let him go. But instead of cancelling the debt, the mean, unforgiving servant sent the other man to prison until he could pay the money. Wait, what? But he had just been forgiven. I know. When he did that, the other servants of the king were very surprised too. They went to tell the king, and when he heard about it, 
he was really disappointed and angry. So he called the servant in, the one who owed him billions of euro, and he said, You wicked man, I cancelled your debt and you owed me billions of euro. And now I hear that you refuse to forgive this man a much, much, much smaller debt. So the king sent him to jail. Jesus taught us that we should forgive others because God forgives us and we should always treat others with kindness. When we tell God, I'm really sorry, even if we have to say it over and over again, what do you think God says to us? Well, if we really mean it, I think God would say, Hey, it's okay. I'm really sorry, Peter said. I really didn't understand forgiveness, did I? And Jesus just smiled and said, Hey, hey it's, it's okay. okay. Hey, let's try telling the story again, but the boys and girls at home can help us this time. Great idea. I've asked our friends Cot, Paddy and Dominic to help us out. Ooh. You can wrap this line with Cot. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. And then this line with Dominic. Give me my money back, give me my dough. Give me my money back, give me my dough. And then this line with Paddy. Please show me mercy cause I'll pay you back you know. Please show me mercy cause I'll pay you back you know. And when we tell the story, you can choose which person you want to rap along with. Are you ready? Once there was a servant who owed a king loads of money, billions of euro in fact. So one day the king called him to settle his account. Boom boom chicka chicka boom boom chick. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my dough. Boom, give me my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me my dough. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my dough. But the servant begged for mercy. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, Please show me mercy, chicka, cause I'll pay you back, you know. Please show me mercy, cause I'll pay you back, you know. Please show me mercy, cause I'll pay you back, you know. So the king forgave his huge debt of billions, but the very first thing the servant did was find someone who owed him 10,000 euro. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my dough. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my dough. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my dough. And this poor servant begged for mercy. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, Please show me mercy, cause I'll pay you back, you know. Please show me mercy, cause I'll pay you back, you know. Please show me mercy, cause I'll pay you back, you know. Well, the man who had been forgiven billions by the king didn't show any mercy. Instead, he sent the poor servant to jail. When the king heard about this, he brought the unforgiving servant back. You owed me billions, but you asked for mercy and I forgave you. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, give me boom, my chicka, money chicka, back, boom, give me boom, my chick. dough. Boom, Please boom, show me chicka, mercy because I'll pay you back, you know. Please boom, show me mercy because I'll pay you back, you know. Jesus wants us to forgive others like God forgives us. He expects this of us. So, what did Jesus want to teach his friend Peter when he told this story? Well, that he must forgive others because God forgives us. Exactly. And what do you think Jesus wants us to do? Um, well, Jesus wants us to forgive others too. Mm -hmm. Forgiving isn't always easy. But if we ask Jesus for help, we can do it. I know a little song we can get, we can sing to help us remember. Ooh, good idea! God is merciful to us when we sin and turn from Him. God is merciful to us. Thank you, Jesus. Love each other and forgive. That's just what Jesus did. Love each other and forgive. Be like Jesus. Oh, I love that song. Me too. Well, Cod and Liam are ready to play a game with us. Will we go Ooh. see what it's like? Yeah. Hi, boys and girls. Today we learned a lot about forgiveness. And we have a really fun game that you can play at home where you can put forgiveness into practice. All you need to do for this game is to print out the template on our website and then you just need counters and you can get those from another game you have at home or you could use buttons or small pebbles or anything that you have and you need a dice. 
and then you can play. Liam, would you like to explain loop. how to play? A uh, loop. So it's just the same as snakes and ladders, except whenever you forgive somebody, you go up the ladder, and then whenever you don't forgive somebody, you go down the snake. Oh, I wouldn't like to go down a snake. No, no, they're the rotten. Yeah. Mm. No, so four. Yeah. And you start outside the one, isn't it? Not yeah, on one. Yeah. Right. So one, two, three, four. Okay. No mm -hmm. snakes and ladders. No, there. it's close there though. Oh, mm -hmm. two. Oh. Mm -hmm. One, two. Don't two. go very Just far. One wee duck. <laughs> this yellow too. It is. I like yellow. Right. Three. One, two, three. There you are. Okay. Oh, four. Four. Oh, that's you. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're I've close. got nothing. Mm. I actually had a snake around my neck once. Did you? Yeah, when I was in primary school, oh. they brought in a snake. Was it white slimy, was it? No, it actually wasn't. So that's two. One, two. Okay. No, there you are. Let me see now. Ah, oh, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm on eleven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I never had a snake around my neck. No? Oh, one. Well, they're not really common in Ireland. No. My friend got um, bitten by a snake once. Did she? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It must have been painful. Mm. Oh, I get to go up a ladder. Oh. Your Wait. little brother broke your toy, but you forgave him. Oh, it's very good. Once my brother broke, well, he tipped my tooth when I was playing leapfrog with him. Oh. And I had to forgive him for that. Mm. But I was missing a bit of my tooth, oh. so it was hard. That's a hard thing to forgive. It is. <laughs> so, sex. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try it. Okay. There you are. Mm. I think you've gone the wrong way, Liam, did you? Were well, you meant to go this way? I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. okay, you can just go back. Right. I'll forgive you where, for that. Where was it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, 11. I remember okay. I was 11. Ah, because I remember. Ah, so okay. What was it, six? Yeah. Is that right? So one, two, three. Four. No, this way. <laughs> Third time lucky. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. <laughs> right. It's okay, Liam. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one, two, three. Right. So me and Liam are going to finish playing this game, and you can finish at home. We're going to hand you back to Ruth and Grace now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love it. That looks like great fun. Can we try it later? Yes, but first, let's go and see what craft Paddy and Ashling have for us. Ooh. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. A boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chick. Hi, guys. So, I heard that the story that we're doing at the moment is the unforgiving servant. So we've come up with a craft that will remind us that it's so important to forgive one another. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Once again, you can print off the template that's on the website and you can get an adult to help. And this is what it'll look like. So we've already started a little bit beforehand just to speed things up a bit. So we've already printed out and cut out the template. So this is what you'll end up with. So. Patty's gonna start colouring in the heart. And <laughs> good job, Patty. You'll also need some ribbon. So this one's really cute because it actually has hearts, which is matches very well. And so the next thing we're gonna do is once Patty's finished, we're gonna puncture some holes where the black dots are in the heart. So for this I'm gonna show you a little trick how to do that. You're gonna get a ball of blue tack and a sharp enough pencil. You might need an adult to help you with this because it can be a little bit fiddly. So if you put the heart over the blue tack where the hole is and get the pencil and stick the pencil into the blue tack and there you go. Now you have a hole. And you can do the same thing for the other side. Good job on your colouring Patty. Thank you Ashley. Okay, so the next thing is you're gonna need some ribbon and you're gonna stick that through the hole so to make a little hook there we go and the same with the other side so Paddy's gonna use some sellotape and he's gonna stick on the back of it and 
And now our last step is to stick on the signs that we cut out using a Pritt stick. They say the world needs forgiving hearts. So true, Patty, so true. Mm -hmm. And you can colour those signs in as well if you have more time. Nice job. And there you have it. There we go. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of the time. Bye. Bye. The world needs forgiving hearts. That's so true. Mm. Well, I really enjoyed that. Will we finish up with a closing prayer? Yeah. Okay, in the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. You can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, Thank you for always loving us. Thank you for always loving us. Help us to love. Help us to love. And always forgive. And always forgive. Like you do. Like you do. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all for today, and it's been such a joy to be with you for this week. We've had so much fun doing these lessons with you. What were the lessons again? Well, we did, oh, that one about the parable and the sower. Oh, that was good. And then there was Gideon and the Midianites. Oh, and there was the Miraculous Medal one as well. And then today, the Unforgiving Servant. Uh, I think that was all of them. That was it, and they yeah. were so, so much fun. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you again next year for Faith Camp. God bless. Bye. Bye.